The U.S. Senate is working on legislation to crack down on illegal robocalls. The measure would not eliminate all unwanted calls, but it would give regulators more tools to go after scammers. Washington correspondent Alexander Limon tells us what the next step is now that the bill passed the U.S. Senate. While robocalls can be used for legitimate business purposes, the reality is many times they're used to illegally scam people into giving out personal information or money. Our phone has become a tool for fraud and scams and harassment. Senators Ed Markey and John Thune led the way on the Trace Act, which passed in the Senate Thursday. It increases the financial penalty for those individuals making robocalls from zero dollars to $10,000 per call. AARP is one organization that strongly supports the Trace Act. It says older Americans are among the most vulnerable to robocalls, in part because they tend to always pick up the phone. The generation um, of like my mom, she's 76, she cannot let a call go in without picking it up. It's generational. Kathy Stokes says that's why AARP is working to ensure members of Congress in the House also passed the bill. In 2018, um, American homes received 48 billion robocalls. That's with a B. And that 40% of them could be scam calls. The House is expected to vote on the legislation soon, and Texas Senator John Cornyn points out it passed with nearly unanimous consent in the Senate. If there's one thing that unites Republicans and Democrats in Washington, D.C., is we all hate robocalls. You can also protect yourself by adding your phone number to the National Do Not Call Registry at do not call gov. In Washington, Alexandra Limon. The nation's communications regulator will vote in June whether to allow uh, carriers to block scam calls by default for customers.